Okay, everybody, I'm uh, inside of Pacer right now, and uh, what I thought I would do is let's look at these cases and see what shows up with, first we're going to search for Reggie Wright Jr., and we're going to run the query. We're going to go to the case, the calendar, okay, and let's see what we got in the calendar. So we're running to see everything. Obviously, we know initial appearance on the 7th. Okay, that's 155. 9 o'clock report date, document setting letter. Let's look at the future months. Okay, so far nothing in September. Nothing in October. Nothing in November. Nothing in December. Let's go back. And let's look at Reggie Wright Sr. Okay. We'll go back to now we hit Sr. Okay. We've checked Reggie Wright Sr. Let's go ahead and let's see what his calendar looks like. Okay. So, nothing in August, nothing in September. Nothing in October, nothing in November, nothing in December. Yeah. So, a few people have, uh, have questioned that there isn't something going on in this case. And it's hard to disagree when we see that there's absolutely nothing scheduled for these two defendants. There's something scheduled for Reggie for the 30th, and that's something that's been on the schedule. But for Reggie Wright Sr., absolutely nothing is scheduled uh, on PACER. And that brings up the whole point. You know, I talked to somebody who's former LAPD, former FBI, and he said there's just a big problem when it comes to any police officer or ex-police officer that's ever been charged with a crime as serious as this that it could lead to all of their cases being overturned and let's let's hope that that's not what's happening here let's hope there's not some kind of a backroom deal being negotiated but right now it doesn't appear that there's anything on the docket for Reggie Wright senior